Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to the town of Karma in Rimworld. Shepard from Decency's River was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. He would like to join your colony for a while. He is a fallen official, and his traits are heat tolerant, careful shooter, and night owl. Shepard has a relationship with a colonist. He is NASA's ex husband. Oh, my lord. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll accept you, Shepard. Welcome. <laughs> oh my god. I need to check on NASA's socials. NASA. Uh, you know, you don't get on with Shepard. Ex husband, minus 15. You don't get on with your husband having an affair, minus 70. Also, he butchered someone, minus 9. Oh my lord. But hello, Shepard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, this is good times, I, I guess. I mean, yeah. I, I suppose. Uh, we'll actually put you on two on Negotiate, since you seem to be fairly good at it. Uh, you know what, I'll give you a three on Handling as well. No hunting, thank you. Uh, plant cutting of two, I, I guess. Uh, on that note, we're actually going to pull everyone back from having uh, elevated priorities for doing um, plant work. Now, assigning Shepard, you should be a labourer for now. We need to get this place prepared for us to attack, and we're going to need to attack in a very specific way. So I want that pulled down. What have I got the most bricks of? I've got a fair amount of bricks of sandstone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make two temporary structures. It's gonna look odd, I know. Bear with me. That. And then also this and that. And at the very end, I'm going to have sandstone doors. Now, my goal here is to make it difficult for them to attack me whilst allowing me to lay down quite a lot of firepower on them. Um, I'm going to have a little gap there. Something like this. It's very simple, and I will be pulling it down after the fact. We can, well, I may, I may even leave it there, honestly. Um, but the idea is, I just want someone to move down here. Ideally, grenades. Grenades would be great, because I want to do a huge amount of damage to this ship very, very quickly. If we can do that, then we will cause the mechanoids to attack us actively. At that point, we will have everyone waiting here with all of the gun power, uh, the firepower in the universe, just ready to, you know, deliver the killing blow, hopefully. So, let's speed things up and see how that goes. We've got an awful lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, yeah, quite a lot, actually. Now, have I made the craft peg leg? Yes, I have. Right, Theo, in that case, add bill, peg leg on the right leg. There you go. Only got one dose. I need to get this fairly soon. Blight, no! Ay, oh, scoundrels. Oh, well, it's happened. Thankfully, we had quite a lot of food by, uh, kept by. At least three of your colonists will lack warm clothes when the cold season comes. The outdoor temperature is going to reach minus eight. You can tailor warm clothes at the tailoring bench or buy them from traders. Click to jump to problem. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. I can make loads. We, well, I mean, I might have been able to if my uh, cloth had stuck by, but unfortunately, no. Um... Make a gas mask. Do we actually have the materials? I need 50 steel, two components. I should have that. Why not? I've got the 50 steel, I've got the two components. And, hmm. Who's my best crafterer? That would be you. Crafting of 11. You've also got a 10. In, yeah, so that would be Lisa. Lisa? Can I get you to work on that for me? Uh oh, uh oh. What have you hit? Hit anything important? No, it doesn't look like it. Good. Really want a new gas mask made. Thank you. That's going to be wonderful if you can get that done for me. Food poisoning from a simple meal. Well, I'm really not sure what to say on that one. Carly, uh, yeah, Carly, could I get you to continue work on that? That's actually a high priority for me right now. Uh, wait a second. Something is not right here. 
Ah! My eyes! My eyes burn! Why? Why would you do this to me, game? Oh, I don't have the bricks to fix it! No! Game, why? I thought we were friends. Uh, I have done a stupid. Oh well. Alright, well, Carly's working on that. Um, what's this you're working on? Overalls. Fantastic. If we can get that finished, that would be amazing. Theo the Luddite is no longer incapable of walking. Well, that's good to see. Uh, there we are. Got some poor cloth overalls. Is anyone going to equip that automatically? There we are. N uh, NASA's grabbed that. Fantastic, NASA. Um, cloth overalls. So is this a jacket, then? Is it considered like a jacket? Because... No, no, this construction jacket, cloth overalls. Okay, well, that's that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Exactly what we needed. And Lisa is working on a new gas mask, I think. Our entire colony now has gas masks. That is so awesome. All right. Please, someone break that down before it, it, it murders me. Minor break risk, Shepard. I'm, I'm on the verge of a major break risk. <sighs> Smaug, if you go and eat that food, I will be most displeased. Um, animals. Zone area. I want to clear an area from animal indoors. You're no longer allowed in there. Animals, don't go in there. In fact, you're no longer allowed in there either. Uh, you can go into the guest room, though. You're not allowed there. That way you can't actually use the door either. Should I should I deny you to the bedrooms? Actually, you know what? Why why would I do that? Why would I deny you access to the bedrooms? That doesn't seem very fair. That doesn't seem very nice in any way. And I'm fairly certain that quite a lot of people would actually prefer you to be able to uh, come talk to them. So yeah, you can have access there. I do not, however, want you going in here. Animal indoors should not include this area. Because it's stupid hot in there. It's like 72 degrees. That's way too hot, if you ask me. Um, we've still got a little bit of work to do down here, but, you know, we're getting on there. Getting on. I've almost completely run out of... Well, I have completely run out of sandstone blocks. Well, oh, poop. Going to need to start hauling things then, aren't we? Uh, more sandstone blocks. Where can I find them? There we go. That's what we need. Also, these can come in. Any more? Yeah, a couple down there. Also grab those. Also those. There we are. We need to do this fairly quickly, because I really do want to be able to get that sorted. We're almost finished up here, though, and that's great. In fact, the, the pair of you may actually get the whole wall finished now. Oh, well, there's a little bit left up there, but... Wow. Gun and Carly. That was a fantastic uh, combination. It has driven everyone mad, but it is party, and that's good. Bit of an odd time to throw a party, I'll be honest with you. But sure. Gun's getting some more stuff. Pirate merchants from Sight Master's Village. Okay. Let's jump over. Oh, you've got a bunch of snakes. I may purchase snakes because snakes produce eggs. They produce eggs really frequently, too. That would not be too bad. And you know what? An army of war snakes? Yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that being a thing. I support war snakes. Uh, I am, however, going to need NASA. I feel that NASA is one of our best diplomats, so let's get over there and have a chat, shall we, NASA? Right. Got a little bit of money. Uh, we're automatically selling a bunch of things, it seems. There's a bunch of things you're not interested in the slightest, though. Uh, gold, you got a fair bit. Don't really need any, though. Um... Psychic Foil Helmet. Might be tempted on that one. Uh, that's poor. I'm not sure I really want to get rid of it. I guess I could, because I can always make more. Sure, alright, we'll get rid of that. Shardy can also go. Um, Kevlar Helmet. No, we're keeping that. It's, it's too useful. They're all ma automatically going because they're so bad. Armor um, is fine. Are we generally okay otherwise? Um, 
Personal shield, shoddy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, that one's almost at the point where it's not gonna be useful anymore. Actually, no, no. Armor vest, always useful. Always, always useful. Um, desert robe. That's fine, honestly. I, I think I'll keep it just in case. That one is going though because it's so low in quality, but I'm I'm just gonna override it. I want that too much. Now, minigun you can go. Triple rocket launcher. I'm actually gonna keep the tri triple rocket launcher, I think. I am gonna sell the great bows though at long last. They're gonna be they're gonna be leaving. And uh, the pistol, the survival rifle, and that pistol as well. A bionic arm. Wow. Silent jaw, adrenal rib. Oh, that is tempting. That is crazy tempting. An artificial rib equipped with little adrenaline dispensers to keep the user fit and awake. It's expensive, though, for what it is. Right, you've got a lot of Lucifer... No, I've got one. I was hoping that it was going to be a lot. Uh, what I meant is that it costs a lot, but I was willing to pay the price. But alas, no. Not getting that, it seems. I could... Be rid of Theo. Let's have a look at Theo. Your character. You're incapable of intellectual or crafting. You're a teetotaler and you're beautiful, though. But it's only crafting and research that you're uh, restricted from. It's not too bad. And then Lolly. What are you incapable of? In dumb labor. Mm. Honestly, you're both fairly good. I'd like to keep you. I... Could sell Bazooka, but come on, it's a husky named Bazooka. How could I do that? However, I will pick up a breeding pair of snakes. Now, what's your life expectancy? 20. Dear Lord, you're like ancient then. You're 21. Well played. Very well played. Um, but you're on the edge. Still, I accept this trade. If you could go ahead and bring it... Oh, there we go. Savage and Vera. How marvellous. Right, you are now restricted to animal indoors. Um, Tempted. Very tempted. Yeah, I want I want war snakes. I'm d down with the war snakes. There we go. Right, how's everything going? Minor break risk. Buttercup. Yeah, that will happen. Uh, we also want these to be brought in if we can. There we go. This place is all getting put together fairly quickly. You only need a little bit more, and then we're sorted. Excellent. And then we need to break this down completely. Thank you very much, Lisa. Very, very good work there. Very good work. You know what? I think I might just keep that there. There's no particular reason to get rid of it once it's there. I mean, maybe one day I'll need the um, materials, and perhaps then... But otherwise, I think I'm fairly good with it. Right, let's uh, actually look at my characters, look at their health, make sure they're all okay. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, 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 and fine. I strongly suspect that based on the fact that I don't actually have that much work for them to do outside. Ugh. I had connected batteries, but any serious damage was prevented by the fuses. Okay. All of my fuses went down with that, though. Every single one. So that's a whole lot of components needed to fix that. But at least no one got hurt, because that's a lot of power. Could have just been uh, discharged there. An awful lot of power all at once. So let's get rid of all of those. Not bad. Just got a tiny little bit of work to do down there. Tiny little bit of work to do over there. You can all pretty much leave now. Get all of this sorted. Um, actually, I would kind of like to have... Make sure that these have proper tiling around. There we are. Now in the middle... Um, sure, we'll go with... I could just plant the um, plants on the floor. Because I wanted to have just some, you know, flowers in here just to, to brighten the place up a little bit. But 
honestly, I don't think that's really necessary. I think I can actually use the plant pots instead because ultimately those plant pots are actually... They look so good that it would benefit me to use them. And then in there we will have... Um... Sure. Sandstone. Well, actually, that's granite, isn't it? But we'll go with... Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with granite and slate in there. There you go. Get all of that set up for us. I'm going to need more granite, though. Slate. Granite. All of that needs to be claimed and demolished. Yeah. Sure, all of that can be demolished anyway. All that can be demolished, that can be demolished. This too. They can all be done as soon as you get the t chance to. There we are. Tanya's pregnant. The trade caravan have left. And this is sandstone. Slate. Okay, we're pretty much ready then. All right. A little bit concerned about what we're about to do. Have we still got the Luciferium there? Yes, so Oshwood has not used his last dose. Uh, I'm going to miss your help around the place. Oshwood, I will be honest with you. I will miss it quite a lot. Could someone set up the fuses? That would be grand if someone would, uh, you know, take care of the fuses for us. Maybe I should have people set to indoors all the time. Oh dear. Okay, so how's that going to affect people? Needs. It's now at medium. I feel like someone is always just out of sight, speaking to me. The voice changes, but the message doesn't. I'm supposed to hurt people. Make it go away! Um, no, I think you should uh, just deal with this, Nickel. It's particularly good for you. This can be a sort of anger management training. Uh, right, let's get all of that sorted out. Wonderful. I'm starting to uh, get some harvest done. Ah, look at that. Looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully we'll end up with uh, enough um, granite to get the rest of it. Instructor is admitted psych pulse, driving the local animals mad. I'm glad that that hasn't affected anyone. Are you high on smoke leaf? Yeah. Well, that's fine, because it's helping out with all of this, honestly. There we go. Now it's time to get the, the important stuff done. Once this is all gone, I actually don't want there to be a roof down here, though. Could you please take that away? Very important that that not be there, otherwise you're going to hurt yourselves when you when you uh, get rid of it all. Colonist needs rescue? Where? What happened? Oh, the heat stroke's serious, probably. Yeah, consciousness was uh, was weakened. All right, thank you very much, Armour. Straight out there. Straight to rescue him. Well done, you. Well done in... You know, seriously well done. Armus is such a good doctor. Always putting everyone else above his own needs. I approve. Uh, where are we? It's in fall at the moment. Major break risk. Fern. That's not so good. Sorry about that, Fern. Now, unfortunately, our power situation is dire. Ugh. Oh, well. We're just going to have to put up with it for now. Until we wait for tomorrow. We drained the batteries pretty heavily when the uh, eclipse happened. But I'm surprised no one has fixed anything. I'm, I'm really surprised with that, actually. A little bit concerned, to be perfectly honest. Um, given that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel all these extra drops I made. I feel that they would distract my colonists way too much. There we go. Just go back inside and, you know, take care of things. I am going to need some granite, though. Um, is that it? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll allow this granite to be deconstructed. Because that's probably going to be enough to finish off that floor, but that's it. There we go. Get all that sorted, thank you. Now, if we can have someone with, like, um, an EMP grenade, we can just grenade the living daylights out of that thing. At least to the point that it, it becomes 
aggravated and they start sending all of their uh, mechanoids up to try and deal with us, then that is fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. Ah, there we go. Thank goodness. I'm glad that you're now sorting that out. I'm worried about this, though. What's the temperature of this thing? Is that temperature on that? I can't tell how cold these are or how they would work either. Like, will they... Um, once you lose power, will it take a little while? Oh, there we are. Target temperature and the actual temperature it's at. Okay, there we go. So it, it probably does work like uh, like the refrigerator room. My right, gun is very close to breaking. Uh, what's the matter there, gun? Wearing worn out apparel. Eight without a table. Research finished. Electrochromation, thank goodness. Right, let's have a look at some of the other things that we've got in here. Um... Actually, I would like to do some brewing, because if we could get some beer, that might also help. Anything that will allow us to get a little bit of these uh, break risks dealt with. There we go. Minor break risks now. How are we doing for clothing? I'm not actually sure on that one. Also, how are we doing in terms of this? No, no, not too bad. All things said and done, it's not terribly bad. Right, I would say then, given everything, we need to remove that. Oh dear, Oshawott has taken his last dose of Luciferium. All right. All right, where, where are you off to? Are ah, you holding things in? Right. Well, what I would like to do is cancel those jobs for now. Don't haul things in at all. Nope. Don't need it. Not important right now. Do other stuff. There we are. The eclipse is ended. Right. So our power should be getting back on track now. Okay. That was a bit rough. Certainly a bit rough. Fern is going on a food bridge. That's completely fine. Completely understandable. Got a lot of work going on. Lisa's making more clothing. We've lost power again. Because it's getting night time. Damn it all. Okay, we're bringing in the last little bits from outside, which is fine. Let's grab all of that if we can. There we are. Now, hopefully... Uh, we have got carpet making, I think, don't we? Yes, we do. So we've got the, our doormats. Alright. Let's get these down, because that's going to make it so much easier to clean this area. I'll use a green doormat in here. And over there. You don't really need it in here specifically because they're not walking through areas that are um, dirty from over here. But still, I, I, pr I prefer to have them. Um, let's have a red one in here. There we go. I should probably have something in there. We will have... Sure, we'll just have blue doormats up the top. Red doormats down the bottom. And green doormats over here. Just try and keep the rooms a little bit nicer. I need to put it down on a proper floor in there. There we go. That should actually help out quite a lot. If we can get that, then, then people will stop walking the dirt all the way through the room. It'll start gathering up on the doormat for, for a time. As the doormat gets dirtier and dirtier, its ability to absorb dirt will decrease until eventually people um, just start walking the dirt through. But it basically contains all of the dirt into one spot. So our cleaner can just stand there and just clean the, the, the doormat. And that sorts out all of the uh, issues there. Right, well done, everyone. I've li driven the local animals mad. Not really worried too much about that. What are you up to? He's just passing through? Not moving, moving into chat at all? New... They're just chatting as they move past. Well, fair enough. Getting the last of the bricks from down there. Okay, I think we're ready to actually take on that structure. I know this is taking a lot longer than I was expected, but I'm pretty happy now that the colony's in a... Ooh, actually, there's one last place I want to put a doormat. We'll pop it over here. I'm pretty uh, happy with where the colony is at the moment. I think we're ready to, to make a move. What are you doing? Unfinished Kevlar helmet. Ah, right, okay, that's pretty good. 
We're working on more clothes, also pretty good. Let's actually have a quick look at that. How are we doing? Up to almost 10 military, military fatigues. I'm actually going to bump that up to 12, though. Um, I feel that that might be useful. And the same for those as well. Since we are actually starting to get quite a lot of people here. Right, on that note, we're going to wrap up this episode here. In the next episode, we're literally going to open by attacking this. We're going to use grenades. I think I've got EMP and regular. I've got one EMP there. Have I got any more regular? I've got one. Um, no, two. Two grenades. We've also got a triple rocket launcher. I will be using this. We will be trying to engage in such a way. Triple rocket launcher straight down there. Um, we'll start dropping the EMP grenades. Both regular grenades and maybe someone with an assault rifle there. But once that's done, we're retreating straight out. The Grenadiers can take over the guns. I think that'll be a good idea. Yeah. We'll have to see how this works. But that is it from me for now. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, do take care, everyone.